NASA chief gives serious warning about Betelgeuse star explosion. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star, is headed towards its supernova, and this is one of the most anticipated events in the Orion Belt. Betelgeuse is one of the night sky's brightest stars, but its brightness has dipped quite a bit since 2019. In this video, we will explain how and what are the warnings which NASA has given us about this explosion in Betelgeuse, so stay tuned. But before we continue further, I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel. Subscription supports the channel in a big way, and I really appreciate all your support in this. So, Betelgeuse's brilliance was flickering in 2019, but its brightness was restored after some time. Astronomers figured out why its brilliantness dimmed in the first place. Betelgeuse is the second brightest star in the Orion constellation, and is also referred to as Alpha Oris. Overall, Betelgeuse is the seventh brightest star all across from North America, Canada, and Europe. The name of the red supergiant star has led to some debate. Belonging to a belt called Orion, which is related to the image of a hunter or warrior in Greek mythology, Betelgeuse has been referred to as the armpit of this hunter. Therefore, the reference between Betelgeuse and the Orion belt have somewhat of an anatomical relationship. Surprisingly, astronomers do not have a precise mapping of this distance between Earth and Betelgeuse. In fact, their estimates are highly variable, landing between 430 and 724 light years away. What makes Betelgeuse unique is that in our galaxy, only 200 red supergiant stars have been identified, and Betelgeuse is one of them. For comparison, Betelgeuse is more than 16 times as big as the Sun. These supergiants are visible from 548 light years away and have a surface temperature of about 3,600 Kelvin. This temperature is cooler than the Sun. Interestingly, out of all the energy bands visible from Betelgeuse, only 13% is in the form of visible light. In fact, if humans could perceive light from all electromagnetic spectrum, Betelgeuse would be a serious contender for being the brightest star in the sky. If Betelgeuse replaced the Sun in our solar system, then it would have stretched past the asteroid belt and even beyond Jupiter. This means that almost all of the planets would be absorbed in it. The supergiant loses one solar mass every 10,000 years and ejects this mass in the form of a nebulous cloud. The spread of material is so abrupt and scattered that this nebulous cloud is about 250 times larger than the star itself. Just to give you some perspective, the nebula is thought to be some 30 AU, where 1 AU is the distance between the Sun and the Earth. This is the same distance which exists between the Sun and Neptune. In terms of how old it is, the red supergiant is approximately to be between 9 and 10 million light years old. This would put Betelgeuse towards the end of its existence. As you might know, stars produce their energy through nuclear fusion. The process uses hydrogen as the primary fuel, but as it runs out, helium is combined with carbon. Eventually, the process leads to the combination of iron, which instead of giving energy, starts absorbing it. When iron fuses with itself, the star collapses completely, resulting in a supernova explosion. A supernova can generate more energy than 10 billion stars. But when will this supernova take place? This remains a matter of great debate. The inconsistent dimming of the star between 2019 and 2020 and a subsequent restoration of its brilliance has spurred this discussion. This fluctuation is one more important indicator, according to astronomers, that the supergiant is about to die. Through the latest interferometric techniques, astronomers were able to understand what caused this fluctuation. Using the readings from the Hubble telescope, scientists found out that there was a huge ejection from the surface of Betelgeuse in 2019. This was completely unprecedented. Although similar ejection patterns have been noticed in our Sun too, which are referenced as corona, these events have a drastically limited magnitude that was observed on Betelgeuse. By February of 2020, the star had lost almost three times its brightness. Another factor related to the dimming of Betelgeuse was the large star spots. These spots were related to dust clouds, which were in turn created by the expulsion of matter. The dust cloud was so large and pervasive that it was impossible to have a glimpse of the star without getting readings influenced by it. There is a new theory by astronomers to account for the disruptive pattern in luminosity. This new theory states that the photosphere of the supergiant is in the process of renewal and that the core of the star is gaining strength yet again. The normal cycle of the star has been disrupted, and the internal core of the star has shown signs of massive disruption. This is an insight as to how a giant red supergiant begins to shed mass. These increased vibrations will eventually take the form of a supernova when the hydrogen fuel runs out. There's no sure way of knowing when Betelgeuse would collapse on itself. 
the latest spectrometric reading indicates that there is a great deal of imbalance in the photosphere of the star, as it has begun to repair itself. Even with the extreme mass ejection, the star could fully recuperate. We still do not know fully when we will see a supernova. But when this supernova happens, the star will become extraordinarily bright and become visible through the day. The good news about this explosion is that it will not impact life on Earth. This brings us to the end of this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching till the end and catch you in the next one.